Bunny's followers. I feel that Octavius and Shervon Bob, they're obviously sympathizers of Geno Jennings. Now, you rather ride with Geno and believe he's an apostle, but what about Jesus Christ? Because he's that apostle. Amen. So I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to ride with Jesus. Amen. But it comes down to this. Now, the question was asked, did Jesus Christ uh, begin as far as the son of God when he came to Mary? Jesus Christ existed before Mary. As a matter of fact, Jesus Christ is the one who created Mary and Adam. Amen. Jesus Christ is from heaven before he uh, came to Mary on the earth. Right now, Jesus Christ is from eternity. Now, what you going to do now? I'm driving. I ain't got my uh, my sword with me. Right. Uh, what you going to do? with uh, Proverbs, I believe it's the 8th chapter, when it talks about the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old, uh, before the mountains were settled, I was set up from everlasting. Now, Jesus Christ is wisdom. Amen. That's talking about Jesus. Why? Because Jesus Christ is wisdom. Over there in 1 Corinthians, I believe, uh, uh, even the first chapter, it talks about Jesus Christ, the Son of God, being the wisdom and the power of God. Lo and behold, Proverbs, the eighth chapter, breaks down wisdom. And right there, that's that's prophecy. We're dealing with the word of God. You said that was King Solomon who wrote it. Well, it was still Christ through King Solomon to give us the word of God over there in Proverbs, the eighth chapter. On top of that, what about you? What John wrote over there in John uh, 17, right? When he talks about when he was speaking to the Father in the glory that he shared with the Father before the world was. Now, before the world was, Proverbs, the eighth chapter, let you know about before the world was. We're dealing with a time before the world was, right? See, that's why he's called the beginning of the creation of God. See, all things were created by him, by Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who's the Word. Over there in Revelation, the 19th chapter, I believe, it talks about whose name is the Word of God. Now, what name is that? The name it was given, Jesus. And who's the Word? Jesus Christ, the Son of God. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Amen. Let you know right there. He was with his Father. Even before there was an earth. Because it let you know that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Now, who's that? The Word that came through Mary. Right? But the Word existed. Jesus Christ existed. The Son of God existed before that. It lets us know that he was in the world and the world was made by him. Amen. So, falls in line with Ephesians, I believe it's 3 and 9, when it lets you know towards the end of the verse that God who created all things by Jesus Christ. So, God created all things by the word of God. That's why I say the word of God or Jesus Christ, the son of God, is the one who created Mary, the one who created Adam. Amen. So look, this is short and sweet. I had to get back on here to address oh, Octavius Carmichael and Shervon Bob. No, I kind of discerned that they got a problem with the Son of God, just like Shervon Bob is trying to get at. You know, look, it comes down to this, and I can discern. You got a problem with the Son of God existing today on the right hand of his Father. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, the Word is God. Yes, the Son of God is God, but he's not his own Father. Are you kidding me? So yeah. Short sweet, I want to get on here and address that. And, you know, we're going to have to agree to disagree or come back with something. Hey, man, I've stated my case. That's what it is from the Word of God. Lord willing, I'll be able to come back and edit and uh, show you some of these scriptures so you can see. Hey, man, so until the next time, y'all be blessed.